but really you're not lost like this is a part of the path this is the same path you're not jumping to a different path it's all the one path that's laid out for you hey it's Anna so thinking about life path and like purpose and then decisions that we have to make and even mistakes that we choose sometimes um, I feel like it can almost seem like we're lost when you don't know which decision to make or you don't know which direction to go in like the idea of having a path and having a purpose can make you seem like you're separate from it and it's something that you need to find and you're not sure like which direction to go in or where it is or what it is or you know what I mean there's a lot of talk about purpose because that is the reason why we're here but I definitely think that it can instill fear in the sense that you then feel a bit lost and don't know where the hell to go or what to do. I know for me um, 2017 was kind of my lost year if you want to call it that like it was the year where I literally didn't have a clue what the hell I was doing I didn't know which direction to go in and was kind of questioning everything like I didn't know who I was I didn't know why I came here and I feel like sometimes it takes hitting that point like you can call it rock bottom because the experiences around me were pretty shit but when for a lot of people I feel like it takes hitting some kind of point where you then question everything and you try to figure it out but what I've realized the most through all of this is that you're never actually lost like even when you feel like you're lost you feel like you don't know what decision to make you feel like all of these things where you're a bit scattered and you're a bit unsure there's so much uncertainty and so much doubt but really you're not lost, like this is a part of the path, this is the same path, you're not jumping to a different path, it's all the one path that's laid out for you and even though we have free will and like free will can probably be a whole debate in itself but you still are on your path, it's still something that's meant for you even if it could split into two different directions, it's still always meant for you, no matter where you go it's not wrong no matter what you do it's not wrong and that like that revelation took me so long and even now I'm kind of still working through it but it took so long for me to even grasp it and understand what that meant because we always feel like things aren't good enough we always feel like things could be better or somebody's not going to like it the way that you do it and like there's so many ways that you can doubt yourself and question your path and question what you're doing but I'm really realizing that it's not wrong. No matter what you do, it's not wrong. No matter what song you like, what job you choose, what school you want to go to, what college, like no matter which person you're with, even when they're not necessarily right for you, even when like we make bad decisions, it's still a part of the path, you know? And you can say that that decision was wrong and that, yeah, you could have chosen a better decision, but it's still a part of your path, you know? Like, it's necessary because it means that it's something that you need to experience and that experience is gonna teach you something which then can lead you to the right partner or the right job, you know? Like, even though we can always do better and sometimes we do make some shitty damn decisions <laughs> that we regret later on and we realise, oh damn, like I could have done that so much better. But at the time you didn't know better. Now when you've learnt the lesson, you know better. So there's many things that I will never do again because I know better now. But at the time you didn't know better. So like we don't need to beat ourselves up or like be down on ourselves or even listen to other people's criticism when we make a mistake because we all make mistakes and we all choose certain things that we even know we shouldn't like certain diet like foods you know that you shouldn't eat that but you're gonna eat it anyway you know we all we're not perfect we all make these dumb decisions but all of it leads you to exactly where you need to be and I feel like it's just about looking for the lessons in every experience and like realizing exactly why it's there in your reality like why you had to go through that thing why is it here what is it trying to show me about me it's always revealing something about you that you can then 
integrate into who you are like you can then elevate that aspect of yourself or shift that aspect of yourself to wherever you want it to be but at the end of the day it's all down the same path I don't know what I was trying to say then like <laughs> words keep coming out really weird but it's all a part of the same path it's all who you are it's all for you like it's not against you it's literally for you it's for your greatest good everything that you experience and of course some things we don't deserve like so many people go through so many awful experiences so this video isn't to say that you deserve all of the crazy shit that goes on like I feel like the whole world is waking up to all of the terrible things that go on and how we don't want that to exist anymore so this isn't saying like you deserve all of this stuff this is just saying that everything can reveal a lesson it's almost like taking the positive out of a negative like everything can show you something about yourself and that will help you move on and heal from bad experiences and heal from mistakes and like forgiving ourselves and all of that kind of stuff like it's really important to I don't know I just feel like it's important to accept that things have happened and then try and see what it can show you what it's revealing to you and take the positive from it and then be able to let it go otherwise we carry all this baggage of all these experiences with us and they just weigh you down and affect how you integrate with everybody else you know it affects how you behave and how you carry yourself so I feel like I'm getting really off topic right now but this is all just to say that life is happening for us you know, life is exactly what you make it and life is exactly what you choose and we do have a choice of which direction we go in but just know that if you're struggling to make a decision, like nothing that you choose will ever be wrong because if something's meant for you, it will always, always come to you. Like it can never miss you, it can never not reach you, it has to reach you, that is the whole purpose of this reality, you know, we're electricity, this is all built on frequency, it's all built on vibration, so it has to come to you because that is how it works, it's science, you know, it's not some fairy tale bullshit, it's science, it's proven, it has to come to you because it's yours, it's a part of who you are and it's not separate from you, so your path is yours. The decisions that you're going to make, they're yours, they're already a part of you, they're already inside you. A bit like um, your higher self, as I said in a previous video about your higher self already being who you are. And your path is already you too. It's already laid out for you. You already agreed to it before you incarnated in this vessel. So, yeah, it's just to say like, we don't need to beat ourselves up and live in the fear of what to do because... It's going to happen exactly how it's meant to and you just have to tap into your heart when you hear your heart instead of the voice in your head that's been conditioned by society and what society says is right and wrong and what you're supposed to do when you hear your heart you'll know like you'll know but oftentimes that i mean that really is the hardest part of this journey but it's also the biggest part of this journey like it's the main thing that we have to do is trying to block out the noise and hear ourselves you know and you're unique so what's meant for you won't necessarily be meant for somebody else so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching i'm really excited to be doing these actually i don't even know what video i'm on i think six maybe but yeah I feel like this is walking in purpose, you know, like I had to block out the noise and realise this is what's right for me, is sitting down and filming these videos and it won't be right for somebody else. But we can't listen to what somebody else is doing because we're not them, you know. So your path is yours and it's meant for you to walk down it, otherwise it would not be yours. <laughs> But yeah, so I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to leave me any comments of any topics that you want me to talk about. And yeah, till next time. Bye. I need a man that will hold me down. If he a yes man, I ain't keeping him around. I need a